Hi guys, you here with Nightwood for Blender and just want to show you quickly how to save selections in Blender. There are limitations to this method, but nonetheless, it's helpful. So, all you need to do, right, is to go to this uh, vertex groups um, tab, uh, which is under data. And um, when you select a strip of faces, right, and you go to vertex group, you click, click on plus, and then you just name it to something like G1, right, and assign it. Then when you deselect it, you can always um, select these uh, faces that you selected before with this um, uh, select button here, right? The only problem is that you can see that these faces on top were selected as well. And the reason for it is that um, this uh, save here affects all the vertices because it's a vertex group selection, meaning it selects all the vertices uh, and the geo attached to them. This is why this face on top was selected. If it was a face select, you know, we will be getting this kind of a situation, right? Which will be actually perfect. So if, uh, I don't know, there's an add-on that actually can do this, would be extremely beneficial because let's say that you wanted to, you know, grab these two uh, strips of geo and let's say they were like, you know, checker deselect, right? So I'm going to do this again here and checker deselect okay and i wanted to you know save this to uh to data so i'm going to create a new group and then g2 right and assign it you will see that if i'm going to recall this it's gonna you know recall the whole strip unfortunately because again all the vertices are involved in this checker deselect uh, deselect mode right because if i checker deselect it okay all the vertices are selected nonetheless you see that so that's the problem. So anyway, you know, this could get you in a ballpark to the selection that you needed, which is quite helpful. For example, when you, you know, let's say you, uh, I have a very complicated geo and you, you need to select all these kind of tiny edges and you cannot do it automatically. And this could be very beneficial for situations like this, okay? But be warned that, you know, vertex select is going to select all the vertices, not the geo that you select. Instead of, for example, if you select one edge, right, and you assign it to... Um, to a group, right? Same thing. If I'm going to recall this, right, it's going to recall, recall these two vertices, right? So, like I said, limitations are there, but nonetheless, cool trick to know because it can be very helpful when you need to select the same area multiple times and it will take, you know, ages to do so. Anyway, guys, quick tip from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and sub if you did. And as usual, the links to multiple add-ons that I'm using every day for my modeling and my work um, so if you you know interested in these add-ons I got tons of videos on them uh, so have a look uh, if you need them grab them through the stores gonna help me as well thanks for watching catch you in the next video